Good morning. Well, I'm contemplating a summer in Phoenix, Arizona. Oh my God. Everybody else is probably gonna go to Boulder, Utah, <sighs> my, in the family, in, in my hometown, in Utah, it's Boulder. But the reason why I'm staying away is because when I was a little girl, I came into some unfortunate information for me. I, because of being molested by his partner, I, I, you, well, you might say I tumbled onto or I came up with the idea that my father was having an affair with the molester and with others. Uh, he was a hired man eventually, and other hired men. Now, well, see, I'm I not can't even emphasize. On. I'm I not can't. even on this can. Okay, well, just sit there and keep my company. But I, I have to emphasize how rare this would be. Uh, like, obviously, my father was a rancher, and he had grown up. Uh, with his father ranching. And I think what happened at the time is there were very bad roads. Um, they spent a lot of time camping out on the winter ranges or wherever. And uh, I think that was how it came about that some of the men got involved with homosexual activities. and. These You're men kidding, would right? marry, they would get right? married, and my, like my grandfather, he married when he was 30 years old, and my dad married when he was 26. Well, by then, uh, if, they were, if they were involved in these other activities, this would probably be such a major part of their lives that they would no more give it up than anything. They would just arrange their marriage around the, whatever they were doing on the ranches. Have and, you seen that movie Broke Back? But, Yes, but anyway, uh, the women would were very ignorant of all these things because the women in those days weren't near so apt to get into this sort of thing because they were so busy having a lot of children and, and the circumstances were very primitive so they had to work very, very hard to, uh, didn't have electricity and they had to bottle and bottle, you know, the women were just working too hard to even think about it. But the men, uh, they would be taking, uh, you know, hired men, and and the reason why I'm insisting on writing about this is to educate women more about the men they marry. Um, my mother didn't seem to have a clue that he could have this kind of nature, even though she was smart and she read a lot. Uh, it just, it was just a subject that had never entered her consciousness. She, there were very few books, that, novels that uh, dealt with it, and so she just didn't run into it. So uh, even though she saw my father's behavior, she, it just didn't seem to occur to her uh, that anything like that was going on. and. I'd and I was thinking this from five years old, but I, I couldn't tell her that. Why? I had no idea. I mean, I thought my father would be extremely angry at me if I sort of carrying this kind of tale to my mother. Yeah, but see, the problem is that I perceive it to be is that <laughs> you couldn't talk to your father. No, well, I can't talk to either one of them, really. Uh, well, and, that's right. And I didn't even tell about the molesting because I couldn't tell about my father, which was actually Come on, traumatizing. Both of these people scared the crap out of you. Yeah, they did. They did. And uh, I just really, you know, I felt that my father would be extremely angry if I, a little girl, started talking about things like this. So I just kept quiet about it. And in fact, I was going to bring it up whenever it seemed like a good idea, but it didn't seem like a good idea for 50 <laughs> years. It seems like a good Why? idea. Why? Because my mind was going in that direction all the time. You know, well, see, I would be studying men. I would be problem. thinking. Here's the problem. Th these people are Jack Mormons, all right? 
Jack Wilson. Ah. Now wait a minute. Now. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not putting them down. You're 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 afraid that you're going to have to meet your mother and father now that they're dead, and they're going to do a number. Oh. On you. No. I'm talking about this summer vacation. And so I'm so oh, far right, in my right. memoirs. I put the memoirs out on my blog, and I'm talking yes. about them in YouTube. The problem is you're letting people and uh, I embed the videos into my <laughs> blog. And for example, I have on my Neo counter it says 86 hits from Cedar City, Utah. That's well, what you want to talk Cedar about. Cedar City, Utah. Uh, Where the hell is Cedar City, Utah? If they are, re if they are reading these, um, I just... That's good. That's good. Anyway, uh... Um, Am I enlightened now? Would you please be quiet? <laughs> well, you made me wear this shirt. <laughs> no. I've got so much information to get through and you're interrupting so I can't get it delivered. Okay. The reason why I'm not going to Utah in the summer is because of the difficulty of getting this information in my memoirs out into, you know, it's, and that's why I'm writing them because that kind of thing is never thought about. It's not talked about. And it, to me, it was quite common from what I could see back in those times when people were spending a lot of time camping out. This, it would still be if men were separated, say in prison, if there's going to be a lot of homosexual behavior in prison. And then they come out and they bring those habits and those feelings into the society. And just like they did, uh, if they were doing ranching uh, and doing a lot of camping out and just living with men on remote areas. That's what was going to happen. But it's like the women are like so in the dark that they can't wrap their minds around this sort of thing. And the reason why they need to is because molesting. See, I was molested. And I saw that my male cousins were a lot more apt to be molested than I was because they would have to go and do chores and, and be involved with hired men or whoever. And so they were apt to be molested longer. They were apt to be more <coughs> deeply uh, molested. So it was just sort of accidental that I got molested uh, because I was out to the corrals playing around and my dad didn't Ex have any... You were Sons? accidentally molested? Uh, well... Well, I've heard a Accidentally, lot. Accidentally, the the guys, <laughs> the the Wait guy. Shh, 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 no, no, I'm no. just about through. It's almost no, no, ten minutes. No, no. Hey, you're through here. We're going to have to do, do it two, right? again. If All right, we're going to do it again. Okay, see, folks. Nobody ever gets uh, accidentally. Uh,